After a long progress, now the ground's starting to take a bit of shape, as we can see behind you, with the new stand being erected there and behind you. Um, what's, what's your view on the journey so far for the club, obviously with this new move coming up for the, the new stadium? Well, Matthew, it's exciting times, uh, especially for, the, for us here at the Welders. Um, there's been a multitude of delays. This has been a long time in coming. Um, and then COVID has hit. We aren't allowed to access the site due to the restrictions and regulations. So we've decided to do this uh, small interview to give an update to our followers, supporters yeah. and uh, others across the league just on the progress of what's happening. As you can see behind us now, um, thankfully the delays are behind us. The stand of the main pavilion has now been erected. Yep. The drainage is in for the pitch, uh, the toilet blocks and turnstiles. Um, are very very nearing completion so um, the finishing line is now on site. What sort of facilities will it have here? I mean obviously it will have the 3D facility, um, state of the art stadium, what are yeah. great facilities will it have? Well I suppose um, for anybody that's been at Tillysburn knows the playing surface isn't the, isn't the greatest. No, well. um, I, think, I think that's an understatement to say the least. So we will have a brand new 3G playing surface uh, which will be floodlit which is something we haven't had before. It's a big plus. Yeah, massive plus uh, for midweek games um, and whatnot else. We'll have a brand new changing facility, changing block, and two new 200-seater um, stands. And what does this mean overall for the welders? I mean, it's a completely new, it's basically a new club. Yeah, well, essentially it will mean that we will meet criteria uh, for Premiership football. Yeah. And, of course, that's the ambition of all the clubs within the Championship. Um, is, to, is to meet those um, regulations. For ourselves, um, having not been able to progress any further without a possible ground share, yeah. um, this has cemented our ambitions yeah. that should we um, be challenging for first or second place in the Bluefin Championship, we will now have a facility that will be fit for Premiership football. So hopefully, come May 2021, which is the provisional completion date that we have been given. Um, hopefully, regarding the new season of 2021-22, we will have been moved into a brand new facility that is fit for Premiership football. And not even just for us itself, what's it going to mean for the whole of East Belfast? Well, for the whole of East Belfast, I suppose, um, in a nutshell, we will now have two Premiership stadiums yeah. within a very, very small area, yeah. which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, we have been outreaching with the community and also various local teams, youth groups and community groups and obviously that is what has bolstered the support for such a, a multi-sports facility like this in the area. I mean, it's going to be a big boost for the community overall. I mean, people are going to obviously want to come to this new facility. Yeah, there's no doubt. Um, what we're hoping to do uh, and what we're hoping to see is whenever mums and dads are here with their, their young children who are training maybe on the facility, that they can come with their other children mm. Uh, make use of our community space to do homework, have a coffee and relax in comfortable brand new surroundings. Yeah, a big boost overall for the whole community. Yeah, no question yeah. about that Matthew. And moving away shortly, but briefly from the stadium, your new role at the club, obviously you have big shoes to fill, could I say, yeah. after Freddie being away for after 50 years, it's a long yeah. time, it's a long yeah. time. I mean, it's obviously very close to you, yeah. very good friend of yours, he's a big friend of everybody across the whole of Northern Ireland football. Um, how are you finding an eye in the new role here at the club level here after stepping in such big shoes? Well, um, quite rightly, uh, massive shoes to fill. Freddie's commitment and professionalism is, is well known mm -hmm. throughout the whole of Northern Ireland and indeed further afield. Uh, we've had calls from, from England, Scotland, Australia, you know, really? yeah, uh, from wishing him well and whatnot else. Uh, Freddie has been an absolute stalwart um, of integrity yeah. uh, across our league. So he has, he has been a guiding hand for me. Yeah. I, uh, him and I have had a fantastic working relationship over the course of the- Last John a few tricks this right? Yeah, yeah, over the course of the last lot of years, especially. Yep. Uh, him and I have become very close. Uh, and thankfully he's still there as a method of support mm. for myself um, regarding rules, regulations, and just basically advice as to how best to go about things. Freddie has opened a multitude of doors for myself and I thank him for that um, within the relevant authorities in, uh, in football in Northern Ireland. So yeah, having said all that, it's been a pretty fluid transition. Um, obviously Freddie has, been, has known this has been coming all season, so he's been 
passing stuff over and information and and there's a multitude of things that I have now taken on that that you didn't even see yeah. Freddie doing you know so exactly. that you know he just went about his business in a professional manner so yeah I'm looking forward to the challenge um, it, we have a very very tight knit backroom staff uh, and Freddie's included in that obviously of course as a as a um, I suppose, I suppose as a supporter and, and as, yeah. as an advisor now. Yeah, because he has said he has got to come to the matches every yeah. Saturday. He's never going to miss a game. Stuff. Yeah, he, he laughs now. He just says, I'll be able to turn up and have a beer at a quarter to three instead of being there from half eleven in the morning. Exactly. So that's now my problem. Exactly. So it is. So um, It's a big challenge for yourself, I'm sure you're looking forward to it. I am indeed. I am indeed. Um, I love being involved. Um, Gary his, and his backroom staff are all very, very tight knit. Um, we're, we're probably friends first and foremost, um, and we get on very, very well. So there is a real tight knit bond across the players and the backroom staff. Yeah. What we we'll have here, and hopefully that will carry us through into the into the new stadium. And skies are limit. Yeah, well, your hands will be full obviously for the next few months. Getting the boys into here, getting all settled, and all. But good luck to you anyway. And uh, hopefully we'll see more grey hairs in that head of yours afterward <laughs> because it's going to be a stressful time for you for the next few months, especially with the, the big moving on coming up. But, Again, it's going to be exciting times for you, for yourself and the club and everybody involved with the Bitters. Yeah, it is indeed.